Hey guys, I want to sh go through with you how I diagnosed a problem with my Xiaomi M365. The problem I had was I was not getting the same kind of mileage I used to get. I used to get about 22 kilometers uh, through a full charge, but then uh, two nights ago I uh, went for a full range test again and I only managed about 17 kilometers, so I knew something was wrong. The first clue I noticed for this problem was that when after fully charging the battery, I checked the battery voltage on the uh, 9 bot app and it showed 39 volts. Well, this is just maybe after like 2 seconds of riding. I got 39 volts, so I knew that was not right. It should be at 42 or less, a little bit under 42 volts. So then I downloaded the uh, Mi Home app from the App Store and um, I used that to connect to my uh, Xiaomi M365 scooter because I realized it gave me some extra information that I needed on the battery. So what it, the information it gave me over the Nightbot app was that uh, you could see the individual cells, well, cell packs, the voltages of each of them. So you can see here they're all about 3.94 volts and then you just got this one here, battery cell pack 2, is sitting at 4.11. So now I realize that the battery was unbalanced. So I had to figure a way to fix that. And on another, another note, when I was watching this while it was being charged and the, the battery would pretty much, the charger would stop charging as soon as that cell pack number two hit 4.2 volts, leaving the other batteries at uh, about 3.9 something volts. Now on a quick note, this problem that I had with my scooter was not the typical problems you see with the Xiaomi scooter, like the uh, blown, uh, blown fuse on the controller unit or the uh, bad connections at the battery terminals. So I measured, I took the battery out, It uh, the cover uses um, a T10 Torx bit and there's a whole bunch of screws that removes this top cover. And uh, with the battery there is a some Allen key bolts that secure the battery, a connector, an XT30 connector that connects to the controller unit, and a little, little plug here that plugs into the controller unit, and on top of the little charging port plug. So I removed those items and I removed the battery and what I did is I, I cut the the plastic plastic sleeve wrapping and uh, peeled back these little protectors here and you have to be very careful because this is uh, somewhat high voltage and I measured each in an individual cell and I found the cell that was the culprit uh, which is these two this one and this one uh, we're at sitting at 4.1 volts. So what I've done here is uh, rigged up a little kind of a uh, battery drain thing to balance the cells myself. So what I've done is I've connected an alligator clip to the terminals and wired them up to my little LED flashlight and I'm monitoring the voltage over here with a voltmeter. And as soon as that hits uh, 3.93 volts, uh, the battery should be balanced and I could put it back on the charger and everything should charge up to the full 4.2 volts. And uh, well, I hope it'll work. So I finished discharging the battery. Now I want to measure, show you what the voltage is at, 3.94. That's the suspect bad one. And here's a known good one. 3.92 and here's another known good one 3.94 so uh, I'm going to put this all back together and uh, plug, it in, plug in the charger and see if everything stays uh, balanced so it's all plugged back in and uh, let's turn it on and see how it goes Okay, it turns on. It's a good sign. 
and then you connect to the scooter. Connects, showing 84% battery. Uh, let's take a look at the battery info. Um, battery cell voltage. And that looks a lot better than it was before. So, remember before, battery cell pack 2 was sitting quite different from the rest. And now they are all equal. So now I just got to charge it and see if that uh, see if it'll take a charge. Okay so I plugged in the charger and it looks like cell pack 2 is about 0 0.02 volts higher than the rest. I'm not too concerned about, uh, about that right now until it's fully charged then I'll uh, take a look again and see where it's at. So it's just finished charging and uh, if you can see that this battery cell pack 2 is about 0 0.08 volts higher than the uh, other batteries. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, draining that cell pack 2 down a little bit more and then fully recharging it again. Uh, I, I really want all the battery cell packs to be at about the same voltage. Uh, as for why this happened, probably because I run my battery down to empty in a couple occasions on purpose too for you guys. Um, will this eventually come up with an older set of batteries? Probably. So this will be one way to uh, balance the batteries yourself as you've noticed that the it seems like the factory BMS does not actually balance the batteries. It'll just kind of protect the batteries from overcharging or over discharging. And uh, well, I hope you guys find this informative. Um, I guess thanks for watching.